Hey folks, Lemonade here. So this new company named Soku agreed to send me their brand new mouse pad called the X1. And I'm gonna be honest, initially I was a bit concerned where this thing is gonna fit in the mountain of mouse pads that gamers have the option of choosing, but it did grow on me over the week of testing. And I like what they are doing and planning on doing with the brand that makes this much more unique than just a mouse pad, but we'll get into it right after this. So a small disclaimer before we start, as I stated at the start, Soku did send me this mousepad free for review, but that will never change the outcome of any review on this channel. My opinions are my own, and you are seeing this as early as Soku is. And with that, if you decide you like this video at some point, don't forget to like and sub down below. It really does help the channel out a lot. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna jump into the specs per usual. We'll put them up on the screen over here for you. The pad does come in one design and size. More on that a bit later. And it retails for 35 US dollars. More on that also a little bit later. And a discount code at the end of the video, so stay tuned. In terms of design, obviously you can tell this is anime inspired, so that's going to be a love-hate thing depending on your taste. I'm not a big fan of anime myself, but I really like this aesthetic. It stands out in the sea of black pads or pads with minimal designs. For content creators, this is a joy for those hand cam setups. And even for folks that are running more minimal setups on their desk, the stark contrast it brings is pretty refreshing. The print quality is very high on this with a nice subtle shimmer when the light hits it. There are a lot of fun details to look over like the Japanese flags, dual katanas, little smiley face buttons on her jacket and the bandage on her nose. Also, because of the weave of the material and the pattern that they have on her clothing, it makes it almost look like a page out of a manga. Nice touch. So let's get some of the basic characteristics of the pad out of the way. It is a more traditional cloth feeling pad, has a nice uniform X and Y. Humidity resistance has been pretty good to be honest. I think the three millimeter nature of the pad does help with it as well. Base is a standard Rubber, similar to what you'll see on Lethal Gaming Gear or Pure Track pads, works really well. I've had no issues on either of my desks. non stitch edges, as you can obviously see. Some folks have a fear of that, that they're going to fray very easily. And they will over time versus a fully stitched pad, of course. But as of yet, none of the non stitch pads I own have had this issue. But of course, I use a sleeve. Now, while this doesn't bother me, hopefully in 2023, we're going to see more pads moving onto that fully stitched edge because a lot of gamers value this feature. Now, this is a fairly centered pad in terms of its glide characteristics. It does lean a little bit more towards the control side of things, but how does that actually break down in our skate glide rankings? So it's gonna go for Tiger Ice in terms of the maximum uh, speed. Core pad air skates follow up as second. BTL skates, a review coming soon on these in a third. Pure Track Pure Glide skates, really underrated and fourth and then of course class skates are definitely going to come last especially on these control surfaces where they feel the most muddy in comparison okay so now let's get on to the actual surface itself when it comes to cloth based pads i was comparing it to my pure track cl1 and my vaxi pa and it really feels like it's kind of in between both so it's a touch faster than the Vaxi, mostly due to, again, that three millimeter base, but has a little bit more surface control than you would find on the PureTrack CL1. Now, if you watch my Vaxi PA video, you can check it out here if you want, the Zowie GSRE Rouge sat in between those two pads, but this is just a better pad than the Zowie, really in every way. It feels like it strikes a balance of speed and control much better than the Zowie, and it comes rolled out flat right away by the way my zowie still curls up on the sides no matter what i do and i've seen it's a common issue for many folks anyway in terms of performance this pad has been really up my alley and i've been comparing it to my current main they had to coup and i've set a lot of prs and aim beast on several scenarios and my grind on overwatch ranked has seen some epic plays with it 
I want to touch on something real quick. Normally I'd show the box, but the X1 didn't have one. The team let me know they, they had supplier issues and they wanted to hit a deadline to launch these pads. So they had to skip the packaging. They did throw in a few neat stickers and most importantly, the pad rolled out completely flat more than I can say for pads like Zowie, Vaxi, even Lethal Gaming Gear, all that come with boxes. Anyway, don't worry. There will definitely be custom packaging ready for drop number two. And yes, here is where the more than a mouse pad that I said at the opening of the video comes in. So as you see, this is the drop one mouse pad and they will run as limited editions with new designs and surfaces coming to future drops. When you purchase the pad, you get access to these benefits as Soku is looking to build a community ecosystem and become more than a product, but a lifestyle brand. You'll gain access to new drops first, members only channels on Discord where you can talk about feedback and development, pro player specific channels that you can get help from, first access to upcoming merch, a Soku manga, yes, they're fully fleshing out this universe in manga form, and even a Soku 2D game, along with some of the other benefits that are listed here. Okay, so that's a lot to unpack, and honestly, it's still early days, so most of this has yet to be seen and how it will all work out. From what I've seen on the Discord, the team is pretty engaging and steady on their communication of upcoming developments, one of which we should see more of coming this week. That said, some of you are just gonna say lemonade, this sounds like a little fluff, and I just wanna buy a mouse pad. And I hear you. And honestly, for the price of about $50 total with shipping to the US, it's hard for me to tell you this surface or pad construction is game changing. You'll be able to get nearly the same performance from the VAC CPA or the PureTrack CO1 and for less money. That said, price is a tricky subject depending on where you live. They ship out of Sweden, so EU customers may have better shipping rates. Also, while performance is similar to these two pads, the PureTrack, for example, is six millimeters thick, which can be a turnoff for some people. And the Vaxi is only about $8 cheaper, all said and done. Anyway, what I'm saying is there's always a lot more factors to consider when it comes to pricing. So that all said, if you don't care about the future of Soku as a brand, any of these perks or benefits, you don't want to be part of a community or even like this aesthetic, there's still good options out there for an awesome mouse pad. All in all, I really like that Soku is at least attempting to build something unique here and be more than just a mouse pad company. I like that they're owning this aesthetic and building some cool lore around it and providing some interesting value to folks. For a peripheral nerd like myself, this stuff is great. Though, how all those listed benefits and perks look is to be determined. So for now, you get a mouse pad that performs really well, for about 50 bucks. Take that how you will. Hold up though, down below I got you all a 10% off code for this pad if you still want to grab one and jump into the Soku community. And on that note, if you had a good time with me today, likes and subs are always appreciated. Leave a comment down below, let me know what your thoughts were about this, but until the next Fresh Squeeze video, stay thirsty folks.